And it's actually a decent one. Nice. There it is. Oh, not a bad one. Is that a fish? Uh, yep, I'm on a decent fish. Oh, there's a decent one. All right, let's go. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. Today, I'm out at the Arkansas River, and I'm a few days into filming this Ozark Trail Wayfair. I've been doing a little test with this, catching some fish, and I'm planning on doing a little review on it when I'm done with it. So I think I'm on my fourth day right now. I was planning on stopping after yesterday, which was my third day doing this video, but then I just had a little bit of time to kill today. I'm getting ready for ice fishing send that I'm doing tomorrow, and so I didn't have a whole lot of time to fish today, but I had a little bit of time to kill. It's a pretty nice afternoon, so I decided to get back out here for one more little afternoon and see what I could catch on this. Like I said, it's called the Ozark Trail Wayfarer. It's just a cheap little Walmart combo. It's like 10 bucks at Walmart. It is a five foot six medium light combo, as you can see, and it seems pretty good so far. Like I said, I'm a few days in, so I've caught a few fish on it already. You guys will see that in a little bit and I'm gonna try to catch a few more tonight. So don't have too much more to say about it for now. I'm gonna get after it and like I said, try to catch a few more. Okay guys, it is a beautiful winter night and I'm out here on the Arkansas River in the middle of Pueblo, Colorado. I'm gonna test out this Ozark Trail Wayfarer. It's just a little budget combo from Walmart. All it is is a my probably my biggest beef with it is that it's a 5.6 so it's really short i definitely prefer a longer rod it's most likely made as a youth rod but i picked it up anyway i was actually out the other day at dixon walmart looking for a combo that i thought would be good for trout i really don't like lights and um, ultralights i just feel like they're in my opinion they're too bendy for me it's tough to even set the hook and i just personally I'm not crazy about fishing with them. I feel like I have much lower success with a light or ultra light than I would with like a medium light, sometimes even a medium. I mean, I have no problem catching trout on a medium rod, but it's not ideal as far as sensitivity and all that, sensitivity and all that excuse me, goes. But anyway, got the old Wayfair here. I'm gonna test this out. And point of that story was that I was out looking for something for trout. Couldn't really find anything that fit what I was looking for, but I ran into this at Walmart and they were just stocking it. And uh, I thought I'd pick it up and see how it is, do a little catch and review. So my plan is to pretty much fish till dark tonight. It's already pretty close. I've got about 45 minutes to an hour till dark, but this is usually a pretty productive little stretch of river. And all I'm gonna do is jig this 16th ounce uh, ball head jig. It's a chartreuse one. I'm just gonna jig this around with a live worm on it, just a live red worm, and hopefully I have some success with that. Lately, I've been getting a pretty good bite on red worms, so we'll see what happens. I don't usually use this method though. Much of the time I bottom fish for catfish and other species, but I've got six pound test on here. I'm not really after anything specific. So six pounds should be light enough to target trout and sensitive fish and heavy enough to handle pretty much whatever I need it to in here as long as I have the jag set good. All right, there's the rig we're working with. Like I said, just this little chartreuse ball head jig with a live red worm. I think it should do decent. We're gonna find out right now. Honestly, this little setup cast is pretty good. I'll give it that. making me kind of nervous that I don't see many other people fishing out here. Oh, never mind. And I was just going to say, and I haven't seen any fish yet, but as I was about to say, I haven't seen any fish, this guy hit, and it's actually a decent one. Nice.
This little setup's handling pretty good too. That's not a bad fish. Wow. I was not expecting that right out of right off the gate. This thing's all wrapped up. Man. If I land it, it'll be a miracle the way it's freaking out. That's got to be freaking almost 20 inches. That's a nice fish. Beautiful too. Check out the colors on this thing. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. This is awesome. Check out the wicked hook set on this guy too. Not too bad. Wow guys, I was way off. It's only 16 and a half inches, but still a beautiful fish. Let's get it swimming. Oh, it almost slipped out of my hand. There it goes. Awesome. Okay guys, I'm back out with the Ozark Trail Wayfarer today. I'm actually out at Runyon Lake this time, and I'm gonna do basically the same thing. Throw around some live worms on a jig head to start out. I've actually got some spoons, I've got some super dupers, I've got, um, what else do I have with me? A couple blade baits. I've got some other stuff to switch to if I'm not having too much luck with the worms, but I'm gonna start off with the worms. I've actually had a little bit of luck underneath this little footbridge here, uh, thrown into the inlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few casts right here. Probably won't stick around here too long. I don't like fishing this spot too long. I like fishing the actual lake part more than this little area. So won't stick around too long, but I'm gonna continue testing out this Wayfair so I could give you guys a little review on it. All right, got that worm rigged up on the chartreuse 16th ounce jig head, ball head jig. Gonna chuck this around and see if there's any hungry trout down there. Give it a little underhand toss. Now that I'm thinking about it, last time I was out here, I went down there a little further and I saw a ton of trout stacked up underneath that little like, I don't even know what you'd call it, low head dam maybe, miniature spillway. Not even really sure what to call it, but I'm gonna go down there real quick. All right, last time I was down here, they were stacked up down here, so let's see if there's any in here today. Oh, that's a nasty snag. Uh-oh. If I break this off, I'm definitely going to move on to a different spot. It feels like it's probably going to pop off. Or break off, I should say. Uh, no, nah, but I think I bent the hook. Yep, lost my worm and bent the hook. So I got to re-rig and I think I will move on. I'm going to take a few casts over here real quick. I've had some decent luck with live bait in this little spot in the past. So I'm going to see what I could do real quick. Oh, something just flashed out. There we go. On one right now. Heck yeah. Decent one. Probably 14 incher. All right. Once again, the Wayfarer. Oh gosh, I tried getting out of my hands. Once again, the Wayfarer handled it no problem. Awesome. Okay, guys, let's get this fish back in the water. There it goes. All right, guys, let's see if I could do that again. Oh, there's a nice snag on a rock. Not quite what I was trying to do. Okay, there we go, I popped off it, surprisingly. Got a leaf too. Oh, still got my worm, surprisingly too though. So that's good. Get it back out there and hopefully stay off that snag this time. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> it's freaking out. Little one, but it's freaking out. Alright. Skinny little guy, but I'll take it. 
Okay, let's get this fish back in the water. Jeez, I almost slipped. There it goes. Okay, put a new worm on. There it is. Oh, not a bad one. Whew, they're fired up today. It's a pretty fish. Cool. Okay, guys, this fish is crazy squirmy. A little better than the last one, and once again, the Wayfair combo handled it great. Oh, jeez. I almost slipped a little when I dropped it in the water, but... Oh, looks like it's going under the rock right there. <laughs> there it goes, though. I'll probably just stick around until it gets dark. There's one. Crazy one. <laughs> Long skinny boy. All right, not too bad. A little skinnier than a couple of them, but pretty long. All right, guys, this one's squirmy. Let's get it back in the water quick. There it goes. All right. Got another worm rigged up now since that last one got stolen. Let's see if we could actually get a hook up this time. There's one. All right, another little rainbow trout. Let's get it back in the water. All right, rig back up again. Let's see if we can get another. Oh, I was gonna say, if that's a fish, it's big. <laughs> it is not. There's one, decent one. All right, heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's a chunky one. Nah, maybe not, oops. Well, that fish managed to slip out of my hands. It ended up back in the water before I could get a little release shot on it, but got one more rainbow there, like I was saying I was hoping for, and I'm gonna call it a night now. Okay guys, it's a few days later and I'm back out here at the Arkansas River today, just at a different stretch. And I've got the Ozark Trail Wayfair out again. I'm going to try to catch some fish on this today and this might be the last day for this video, but I've got high hopes for today. It's been a pretty cold day, so I'm thinking the trout and walleye should both be somewhat active. We'll see what happens. Probably going to be dealing with frozen rod guides here. It is pretty cold. Oh, that was a hit. I just got bit good. Too bad it didn't hold on. Man. First cast, I got crammed. Oh, yeah. It ate most of my worm. That was tight. All right, I gotta get a new worm now. Okay, I'm rigged back up. I got a first cast bite. Let's see if I could get a second cast bite here. There's big trout in this spot too. I caught my PB out of this spot this year actually. My PB, I believe, cut bow. Is that a fish? Uh, yep, I'm on a decent fish. 
Eh, I don't know how decent. Might be small. All right. So the bite seems to be... Oh, it's not bad. The bite seems to be pretty active tonight from the look of things. Shoo, it's mad. I'll tell you guys that much. It is head shaking like crazy. Just a flopping all around. Pretty little fish. Nothing too big. Ooh, I don't want to fall in the water here. I gotta get these gloves off. Ugh. Chunky fish. Healthy one. Ooh. Alright, there it goes. Awesome. Sorry for not really giving you guys a better look at that fish. It was flopping all around. Did not want to be handled, so I just was trying to get it right back in the water. But it was nice enough to leave me my worm, so gonna get this worm back out here. Let's see if we could go three for three. Ooh, I think I did just get bit. Yep, there we go, came back too. That's three, three bites, three casts. Unfortunately, I didn't catch the first bite. That's another halfway decent one too. Pretty little fish. All right, gotta get this. I just spent all this effort trying to get this glove on because my hand was wet. Now I gotta get it back off. <laughs> They seem to be liking the live worms lately. This one's a little skinnier. About the same length. Maybe a little shorter. But quite a bit skinnier. Just a little one. Not too bad though. Little dude actually had a fly in his face. I took it out. Oh gosh. Alright. Getting this guy back in the water. He wanted to go. It was about to slip out of my hands. I didn't want it to land on a rock. But anyway had a little fly in its face so I got that fly out that was good okay guys I'm back out at the Arkansas River tonight I'm at a different spot again this is a spot I don't fish very often at all it's just a tiny little spillway it's a little bit shallow right now but I'm gonna try my luck anyway I wouldn't be surprised if there's still some trout sitting in there somewhere but anyway I've got this, I think it's like a eighth ounce, either eighth or quarter ounce casting spoon. It's just a chrome one. Uh, I've got this tied on and I'm going to toss it out there. And I'm using this instead of the little uh, ball head jig with the live worm because I actually just forgot my worms today. Not really any reason other than that. So I've got a few little baits that should work for trout and I'm going to try them out. So like I said, just going to start out with this little spoon. Oh, there's a hit first cast. Oh, and I lost it. That was 100% of fish. Man. The drag system on this thing is a little strange. That's one comment. I might have already made that comment a different day. That's one comment I'm definitely comfortable making. I don't hate this rod at all, but the drag's a little funky. Man, I can't believe I've missed that fish. It seems pretty decent. He's pulling all right. Oh, I just missed another one. All right, well, that's a good sign. Seems like they're interested in the spoon. There's a decent one. All right, let's go. It's angry. Shoo. That thing is fired up. Is it a brown shot? I think it's a brown. Let's go. It's my first brown of the year. Man, it choked it. I gotta get my pliers. All right, guys, what a beautiful fish. Check that out.
gorgeous little brown trout. Got the hooks pretty deep, but luckily I had my pliers handy and got them out. And it seems like I got them out pretty clean. Gonna get this guy back in the water quick. There we go, swam right off. Seems good and healthy. Hell yeah. All right guys, review time. The Ozark Trail Wayfarer is a five foot six medium two piece spin combo. I've been using it for trout out here, but you could really get away with using it for several different species, I would imagine. Just trout is what I've been targeting out here with it. So that's what this video is based on. But anyway, it's a cheap little right around $10 combo that you get from Walmart. I'll leave a link in the description and it is not too terrible honestly. My two biggest cons with it I would say are for one the drag system which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the video but it's just it feels a little cheap the knob itself when you turn it something about it just feels a little cheap and funky and then the drag system itself is just it's a little funky it's not perfect it's it's slippy and it catches and I would I would say the drag system isn't great but for the price it's not too bad I would say for a $10 combo you can't really beat it even if the drag is a little iffy but the other thing about it that I don't love and I mean it's obviously manufactured like this on purpose is the length it's only a 5 6 and especially for a bass fisherman like I said I know I was going for trout but I typically am a bass fisherman and I know a lot of people who watch me are as well so for a bass angler 5 6 is real short for trout it's passable i would say what this suit what this would suit best probably is like youth younger anglers or someone who just fishes occasionally and just does the sport recreationally fishes a little bit for fun but isn't really too serious about it i would say that this would cover your basic needs really and i mean the pros the things i like about it it's nice and sturdy it's pretty sensitive you're gonna feel your hits but it's definitely strong enough to pull in whatever you need to pull in i didn't even have a single one of those fish pull drag on me and i didn't even have the drag set that crazy tight the uh the action of the rod tip itself actually was enough to fight pretty much every fish i hooked up with i know i didn't get any giants nothing really over two pounds or anything but still um i i thought that it was pretty sturdy it seemed pretty decent uh, it seems actually fairly well built. The majority of it is made of metal. I mean, the handle is made of some kind of like composite plastic or something, but it's actually pretty tough, pretty strong stuff. And I mean, it's built like other more expensive, better brands that I've used. It's built pretty similarly, honestly. Um, it feels pretty decent in your hand and everything. I really don't have too much to complain about with this rod, honestly. It's, uh, it loads up line on the spool well. I didn't, I didn't have any issues with anything looping up, getting any bird's nests, any stupid crap like that. So that was nice. I mean, I would trust it to probably handle anything. I would say definitely handle anything five pounds and under. I would have no problem putting this in somebody's hand and saying, go catch a fish. Once you get into the over five pounds with it, I would say definitely I would start getting nervous targeting fish over 10 pounds with something like this, but I'd say easily handle anything up to five pounds with something like this. So not too bad of a setup. I would say honestly, even not, not considering the $10 cheap budget, I would put this rod at excluding the size because I would definitely prefer something longer. But if you're cool with the length of it, I would put this rod somewhere, well, combo, I should say, it's rod reel combo. I would put it somewhere in the, I'd say seven out of 10 range, honestly. It's not too bad at all. I would, I would be confident buying it for, like I said, a kid or someone who doesn't really fish a ton. So I'll be going ahead and like I said, putting the link to this in the description and if you guys like the look of it, maybe head out to Walmart and pick one up for yourself. But that's about what I've got to say about it. So thanks for checking it out, guys. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching another episode. And thank you so much for sticking around till the end. 
I just want to say if you enjoy my content, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe. You guys are so awesome. I want to say thank you so much for helping me hit 500 subscribers recently. That's obviously a pretty big milestone for I would say probably any early starting out YouTuber. So I was just really stoked to hit 500 subs. I mean, I've been anticipating hitting 500 for a long time. So really stoked about that. Thank you guys so much for helping me hit 500. And once again, if you enjoy my content, please just go ahead and continue to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet and you do like it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe. All the support helps a ton. So thank you guys so, so much for all that. But anyway, back to the point of the video, I was throwing around this Ozark Trail Wayfarer here and it did not too bad honestly i got on quite a few trout with it mostly rainbow got on that beautiful brown trout that last day there just now actually earlier tonight and uh i mean i couldn't have been happier about that that was actually my first brown trout of the year of 2020 here so or 2020 what am i talking about 2022 i can't even keep the years straight lately i feel like every year since 2020 has just been a blur but anyway first brown trout of 2022 so that was pretty awesome and i was pretty stoked about it and uh yeah just caught a decent bit of fish with it did my little review so hopefully you guys were happy with that and it gave you a decent idea of what to expect from this combo if you were thinking about buying it and uh, i don't really have too much more to say about it so thanks again for watching guys i'll see you on the next one and i'll see you on the water